doesn't that look pretty? I don't know. I think you just don't have the words to describe how you feel. See, I think it's super pretty. Um... To me, that's enough. The way I feel, the way this looks, I don't want somebody trying to explain that to me with big words or fancy ideas. I just like the explanation, this sky looks beautiful because God made it that way. So, to me, that would be a good reason for God to exist. Do you think that's the right answer? That's just what you want. It doesn't make anything real. Maybe, but I don't think everything needs to be black and white. You don't need to shove yourself into a corner and tell yourself you have to be something. But if I don't, I won't be a good tool. You're wrong, Ramlethal. You're not a tool. Since we're talking about Sin, we have to keep it simple. Sin is a very good boy, but... Uh... He didn't start off that way. Sin is the son of one of the kings of Illyria, Kaikisk, as well as Dizzy, a gear. What is a gear? We'll just say it's a magically genetically engineered person that most of humanity dislikes because they killed a lot of people. We'll leave that there. Dizzy's generally a pacifist though. She doesn't like to kill people and therefore she's a very good girl. So it's perfectly fine that Kai banged her. Put your hands off of Dizzy, she's perfect. Because Sin is a half gear, he one cannot be in the public eye because most of the public dislikes Gears. Two, he's actually four to seven years old. Gears mature very fast. Dizzy is also pretty young as well. Because of this, he has the mind of a child, but more importantly than having a mind of the child, he's away from his dad, and he got raised by Soul Bad Guy instead, another Gear. While Soul was raising him, Sin said he wanted a weapon to be like a man. So Soul said, why not wave a flagpole? And then he did. Sin fights with a flagpole, and he does it like a man. Or a boy, I don't care anymore. But, yeah, Sin originally was a little angry towards his dad for not being there, but somehow off-screen, sort of, not really, uh, they made up after the end of Overture where Sin was introduced. Let's just leave it there for now. I don't know anymore, but Sin is a good boy in X-Art and doesn't talk back to Kai at all, ever. Again. I guess Strive, he is such a loving boy. He never was not a loving boy, but he's the goodest boy now. He befriended Ramlethal, a once killing machine, to become a schoolgirl by eating a hamburger, which changed her life. And in Strive, befriended a, an actual girl who was about to nuke a whole city because she was sad about her dead brother. For all, good reasons. But she didn't kill anyone, and she didn't want to kill anyone, but she was going to kill people. We'll just leave it there. Either way, Sin fights for justice. I was supposed to keep this simple. Eh, whatever. Sin, keep on sinning by loving. You're awesome. Be a good boy. All right, on to the analysis. <laughs> this is Dave Lee with Philosophy of Game Philosophy, and we are here, back again, once again, to talk about Sin's theme, The Hourglass, the last of the Season 2 themes to cover. I am David Leewitz, the man, the myth, the legend, who loves to talk about philosophy and how it relates to video games, and talk about the philosophy of video game music, because video game music and video game music lyrics tell things that the game itself won't tell. Especially Sin's theme. Sin doesn't say anything smart, and that's the point. That's the point of the theme. But we're going to talk about why not saying anything smart is actually very smart. Without further ado, let's go! Fundamentally, this is in a relationship to understanding, in a way, 
He's not thinking about heaven or hell or anything. Above is the sky, below is the ground. I am judged fundamentally by who I am, and I'm connected to both the earth and the sky. I don't think too much. I don't have many words to say. But in that idea, I know who I am. And who I am is a happy boy. He's a very good boy. He's a very good boy. And, um, yes, we, but we need more to, to, to truly understand sin a little bit more. But yeah, again, if you remember correctly as from the analysis, Sin is like four to seven. So yeah, he's he's got he's a boy. I had a reason to cry. I had a reason to be angry. But I don't care. I don't care. The hourglass does not turn upside and down. All right, it will work out. He's very optimistic. Why is he optimistic? First, we have to talk about, I had a reason to cry. This is referring, of course, to, he doesn't have a dad. He doesn't have his real dad. Kai is the king. He can't be with a gear. So Sin is shoved to the sidelines, as, as are Dizzy. So soul bad guy had to raise him. And he had a reason to be angry towards his dad. And he was for a little bit, but he by the time of Exarv, was not angry at all. We don't truly see them reconcile at all. Barely, but apparently they did, <laughs> according to the wiki. So because of that, this is understanding... Well, I do want to see more of this song, but it the, fundamentally, it will work out, is that he thinks everything is going to work well because he's a child. As a child, he thinks... Children have a more optimistic, generally, if they're in the right conditions, are, have a more optimistic outlook on light. The inner child is something that should be generally optimistic. And for him, he stopped, he, he closed the wounds by accepting that, by accepting the child. And because he, the hourglass line basically relates to a, something, there's actually a psychological notion called future time. I forget exactly what it is, but the idea is that as we, as we're younger, we become actually more optimistic as we go middle age. So you actually become more optimistic, but then you, when you hit middle age, then you start the depression starts happening, and you start looking back at what you could have done. But since he's in his younger ears, years, he's looking forward. The hourglass is going forward. It means he's not going to look back. He hasn't turned it on his head. He's not letting time fly back. He's allowing time to go forward. So basically, I, I don't think so. That's why I never stop. I don't think, so I don't stop. Which is something that we... Basically, if we bring out my boy, my absolute boy. If you have not been on this channel, you, don't, you may not understand how much my boy, the best boy, Nietzsche is. Nietzsche is thought of as a sad boy, and he starts off as a sad boy. But when you hit the gate beyond good and evil, a gay science, Zarathustra, he's all about... Who cares about... Tra He's like, life is not tragic. It's funny. You look at depression. It's funny. Life... You don't need to try meaning things. It, life is funny. You get to play. <laughs> Just allow everything to be meaningless. And that is somewhat of a coping strategy. But if you take into not the absolute extreme, it's actually a very healthy outlook on life. It's through accepting the child in oneself. And basically saying... Um... It's, with this line, I, they don't say about all goals and about goals and future. That life is always about looking forward. So wouldn't that be contradictory? Because he is looking forward. 
but he doesn't have to think through it. He's just going to allow life. He's going to be in the flow, be in the Tao, which is the primitive sense of just allowing life to take hold and loosen up and just feel good. <laughs> it's not too much to say. There's a very important line, but I just like this. It's all about goals and future. I just like how that's delivered a very good character acting moment on uh, Naoki's part. It's just this fundamental notion of the accepting that it's okay to not think. This is the healthy version of what Happy Chaos is going about. Happy Chaos is going about, well, you don't need anything sane. We don't need to be sane. Because life is boring. Like, sin takes Happy Chaos's ideology, but it's the healthy version of it where, even though I think Happy Chaos in many ways is right, that's not killing people, um, but um, just what he's thinking about, his sin is basically just saying, allow your life. When you think too much, you th you get depressed. Yes, also when you're emotional enough, you get depressed. But you get the balance of the both. And he could think enough, but you don't let thought to take over. You you're living in a tragedy when you when you allow your life to just go flow and and take away the guardrails, but just takes keeps some composure. Then everything's fine. Then you're happy and satisfied, and you can let life flow. It's beautiful. Feelings, it's beautiful. People, Nietzsche says that we fundamentally view the passions for self-reservation and love and friendship as evil. We need order, we need tragedy, we need to find something from this life. We need to find something important. But Sin doesn't care about importance, he just he can't do his laundry. He doesn't need anything important, he just wants to, he wants to fight for his friends. And that's very lighthearted with everyone else being depressed in this in this uh, game, even though they also are following slightly more emo versions of Nietzsche, but still happy and loving. But still, yeah, let's go forward. We're gonna get to the most important line soon. Let's make failure my friend. This is, I mean, it's at every, my graduation speech, there was a writer who couldn't get out of a novel for so long, and then he eventually got a good novel. Like, he said, fail, 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 because what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. We'll get to that with Ed's theme as well. That's a little line in that, in that rap in Street Fighter VI. But let's make fail, fail, enjoy the sufferings of life, and then la we're gonna laugh it off. Just say, we can just find the, the laugh at ourselves, be emotional, but experience all the goals of life, all the novelty, all the unknown, and take it at its core. What's my, like, what is evil, what is the sin, is finding love, love in our enemies. I mean, sin literally did this with Ranlethal. Sin befriended what was the enemy. And he's like, it feels good. I can't explain why Ranlethal is now a schoolgirl, but he is, and he made her eat a hamburger, and she changed her world because she ate the salty hamburger. Again, good character performance. I hope you get the idea. Like it's just very raw. Like just a little, he's a little jumbled up in his performance. I am a singer, by the way. <laughs> I am a singer too. So I and an actor. So I like these little performative things that are going on. Nice little do 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 do. He's like just working through it. He's working through it. Do 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 do. That's the most important line. Laugh it off. Why? Because it's important to laugh at yourself. It's important to f to to be able to separate yourself. It's a 
actually some of the most intelligent, enlightened thing to be able to laugh at oneself, laugh at one's situation, laugh at what's happening, because you can. That means you're able to separate, and you're not fully in tie with your ego. You're able to laugh off life. You're able to. It's you're able to enjoy life and be enlightened through separating yourself. I mean. Nietzsche says exactly, we must, why cannot find, why can't one find laughter and wisdom? Why can't we enjoy, be wise through laughter, through comedy? I'm a comedian myself. I do comedy. And it's, laughter is honestly the greatest wisdom. So, exactly. We need to laugh at off our problems and our sufferings and accept our inner emotions. And you find, and you become a good boy like sin. When you make it healthy. Because sin is a good boy and he's healthy. But he wears a cross for some reason. Because... Some reason. It doesn't matter. He doesn't care that he was away from his father. He hasn't personally lost anything. Because he doesn't... Because he hasn't made any too hard attachments to it. He hasn't been possessive about anything. Nietzsche thinks about the love of possessions too much no no not say he doesn't he says he thinks that we we have our, our love is things of a love of perception percep of, a, of possessions and when you go beyond the love of possessions you get to friendship you get to other people and sin is all about that exactly That was a little fun one. Next one, if a new character doesn't come out by then, which I've been thinking about actually a lot more than this one, is Rock Parade, and then we will finish with a rant of mine about Kiss of Death, if, again, before the next character of 3 for Guilty Gear Strong comes out. And, uh, yeah, Ed is, for Street Fighter 6, Ed is on the way. Ed's themes are on the way, but Guilty Gear Wise, uh, Con yeah, Andre Mito is next. And I am actually, I did not realize how uh, this, this Andre Mito's video is going to be as insightful as Biken's. There's a lot to that song, way more than I thought, and I'm exci very excited to talk about it. But this was a nice little fun one, but I just needed to think a little bit more to like truly get the heart of it. And I think I got it. I think we had a good time. All right. Daily Flush Movie Game Philosophy. Peace. Have a good time. It will work out. Trust me. Just, just be like Sin. It will work out. Be like the best boy. It will work out. Be like Nietzsche, the best boy. It will work out. <laughs>